For the first time in its nearly 100-year history, the world-renowned Manhattan School of Music of New York presented a program entirely devoted to the works of the Armenian composer Aram Khachadurian, shedding light on some of his incredibly beautiful music. Performed by talented concert pianist Garina Pogosian, this program was a great opportunity to showcase the works of this brilliant composer to both the Armenian and international audience alike. Attending the concert was also the president of the Manhattan School of Music, Dr. James Gondry, which we had the opportunity to speak with before the concert. Thank you so much for having this conversation prior to this uh, very interesting and exciting concert that we're about to witness. Uh, before we speak about the concert, let's speak about the pianist and the educator, I should say, uh, Karine Porosian. What has she brought to Manhattan uh, uh, School of Music? Karine is an amazing member of this community. She is not only an alumna of this school, having gotten two degrees from here, but also she teaches in our pre-college and also teaches in the college. And she is someone who has an amazing energy that she brings into the building every day. And her students are so, so much love that because of course, any student wants to be uh, taught by a, by a faculty member who is so excited about what she teaches. Let's come to the concert today. Um, Aram Khachaturian, of course, renowned composer worldwide. Um, I'm sure you're aware that we are approaching the 100th anniversary of Armenian genocide. So this concert has a double significance to, to us. Um, why, why have this concert here today? What's the significance of it? So today, with the release of Karine's new album on, on Noxus Records, we have added to the repertoire of, of recordings of Kachaturian, which are vast, but they're mostly, they mostly uh, focus on the concerti that he wrote, as well as the orchestral music. And Kachaturian didn't write that much solo piano music. So what's great about today is we're going to hear some of the solo piano music, which is, is, is not so much played as the orchestral music is, but also the transcriptions of the ballet music for which Kachaturian was particularly famous. And so that's, that's a great thing for the audience today, is that they're going to hear things that they may not ever have heard before and that are rarely played. You know, I don't usually get the opportunity to speak to the president of such prestigious school, so I want to take advantage of this moment and just talk a little about, about the school, about the direction of the school itself. Um, rhetorically speaking, where do you see the school five years from today, ten years from today? How do you see its mission growing and developing? Three and a half years from now, we're going to have our 100th anniversary. In 1918, our founder, Janet Skank, has founded a settlement music school for immigrants, mostly from Eastern Europe, and it was located on 105th Street. And in 1969, we moved here. But before that, she, see, she saw that we had incredible students here, that although they were part of the community music program of the city, were really of professional caliber. And so we began to offer degrees. So through that almost now 100 year uh, history, we have seen great, great artists come through this from on the jazz side, Max Roach, Ron Carter, people like that. And, and further into opera, people like uh, Catherine Malfitano, Susan Graham, Dolores Ajik, more recent people like Anthony, Ro Anthony Roth Costanzo, and then um, uh, violinists like Elmar Oliveira. So, when you look at that history, one of the things that by our time we get to our 100th, what, what I want to do in my now in my next uh, years here, I've been here two years so far as president, and what, I, what we are going to do by our 100th anniversary is tell our story in a much better way than we have. We have been the most wonderful school, but the most humble school. And now we must get out of that humility in a way that will allow us to tell this great story and have a great story about people like Karine, et cetera. Um, and I look so forward to our 100th anniversary where we can celebrate this great institution. Perhaps you're in a position to say that it's a humble school, but our viewers, including myself, will respectfully disagree. This is an incredible school. It's a world-renowned school. It has given some of the biggest legends of music. It is in the center of musical capital of the world. If that qualifies as humble, I'll take the, your answer for it. Uh, thank you so much. We look forward to the concert. Thank you so much for taking time and speaking with us. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. The concert in Greenfield Hall began with welcoming remarks by Dr. James Gondry, followed by remarks by Deputy Permanent Representative of the Armenian Mission to the UN, Tigran Samvelian, who spoke about the life and the work of Aram Khachadurian during the Soviet era. Pianist Garine Pogosian's performance began with an adagio from Spartacus Ballet, which followed by the poem written by Khachadurian in the 1920s.
The first part of the concert also included two short pieces, Waltz Caprice and Tanz, and Nocturne and Romance from Masquerade Suite. The first part concluded with renowned Toccata, written in 1932. Karine Porosian has been described as an extraordinary and larger-than-life pianist whose playing goes to the heart of the music. Garine began her music studies in her native Yerevan, Armenia at the Romanos Melikian Music College and Gomida State Conservatory. She made her orchestral debut at the age of 14, performing Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 1 and received second prize at the Arno Babajanian State Piano Competition, after which she had won numerous competitions across the world. She is now enjoying an active concert career, performing in solo recitals and appearing with orchestras all over the world. This past season alone, she had her progressional debuts in Vienna and Toronto, as well as Chicago and Washington, D.C. Ms. Porosian has been with the Manhattan School of Music faculty since 2007. Despite her busy international schedule as a concert pianist, this particular concert carried a special significance for her. Firstly, she was thrilled to have been given the opportunity to play the music of one of the most important Armenian composers within the walls of one of the oldest and most prestigious musical schools in the country. But more importantly, because the concert coincided with the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. Listening to the timeless and powerful works of Anam Khachadurian, one could not help but to think that a nation capable of creating music of this magnitude can never be broken. <laughs> In the second half of the concert, included the lullaby from the ballet Gayane, as well as Khachadurian's Piano Sonata written in 1961. Lasting almost half an hour, this piece entirely consumed and captivated the audience, who were enchanted by the beauty of the music and the mastery of the performance. The same day, in conjunction with the concert, took place the formal New York release of Garine Porosian's CD of Khacha Durian's solo piano works and ballet transcriptions, produced by Naxos Label, which is now available on Amazon and iTunes. Deeply affected by the performance, the audience lingered on long after the concert was over. <laughs> և դուք տեսնում եք խանդավառությունը նյու յորքը հայերի եւ ոչ միայն հայերի մոտ պայմանավորված նրանով որ մենք վայելեցինք Արամ Խաչատրյան եւ վայելեցինք Փայլուն կատարմամբ Կարինեն Պողոսյան Փայլուն երտասարդ կատարող է որի նվաճումները եւ այս կարճ ժամանակաշրջանում այնչափ տպավորի չեն 
որ իսկապես մի բարձանք եւ հպարտություն է զգում որ տեսնում ես մեր երտասարդ անվանի կատարողը այսպիսի հաջողությունների է հասել նյու յորքի կոնսերվատորիայում ամենա անվանի կրթոջախներից մեկում եւ անշուշտ տարելիցը առանձնահատուկ է եւ ուստի այս միջոցառումը կարևորվում է նաեւ այս իմաստով որ մենք մեծ եղեռնի հավորամյա տարելիցին կարողացան կապահովել այսպիսի մի համեր որ մարտիկ գան վայելեն ամբողջնեն այս երաշտությունը եւ ինչու չէ նաեւ մատովի վեր հիշեն հավորամյա պատմություն ունեցող մեծ եղեռնը Ես չգիտեմ սիրելի կարին է թե որքան դու ես հուզված, բայց այն որ մենք բոլորը շատ հուզված ենք, շատ տպավորված ենք ու շատ ոգևորված, առաջինը որ այս հրճակավոր երաշտանոցում հնչեց Խաչատրյան, երկրորդը որ հնչեց Հերաշալի, հնչեց Քո կատարմամ, շնորավորում եմ ինչ էր քես համար այս համերգը ես ազնորեն իրևի խոսք չկա որ արտա այդ եմ բավարարի արտա այդ եմ իմ զգացմունքը իմ համար սա իմ պարտքներ որպես հայ առաջ բերել իմ հայկական մշակույթը ցույց տալ ինչ հրաշալի ինչ ուժեղ պայծառ ազգենք մենք եւ ինչքան էլ դժվար պահ լինի հատկապես այս տարի որ հիշում ենք մեր ամենա իրևի տխուր էջ է մեր պատմության ցեղասպանությունը ինչքան ավելի կարևոր է հիշել նաև մեր մեծագույն տաղանդերին արամ խաչատրյանին տոնել իրեն այսպիսի միջազգային միջավայրում որտեղ մարդիկ լսում են իր գործերը եւ երբ եք չեն լսել երբ եք չեն իմացել նույնիսկ որ ինքը կարող է այսպիսի մասշտաբի գործեր ունենա այնպես որ իմ համար ահրելի պատիվ է եւ եւ նաեւ շատ շատ հուզված եմ նմանապես որ որովհետեւ շատ շատ թանկ ես այն համար կարին է սիրելիս ուզում եմ առիթից օգտվել ու հարցնել ինչ ապագա համերգներ ունես ինչ ապագա քո հանդիսատեսին ուրախացնելու առիթներ ունես ամառը պատրաստում ենք մեկ երկու փոքրիկ ելույթներ եվրոպայում եւ շատ ուզում եմ այս հենց այս ծրագիրը հանդես ծրագրով հանդես կամ վիենայում եւ հնարավոր է նաեւ փարիզում աշնանը մեծ մեծ համերգներ են պատրաստվում մոնտգոմերի քաղաքում նյու ջերզի որոշ քաղաքներում ուզում եմ քեզ այսօր շնորավորել փայլուն փայլուն կատարման համար Եվ իհարկե է մենք մենք միշտ կհանդիպենք եւ քո արվեստը միշտ կներկայացնենք մեր հերոստադի տողներին շնորավորում եմ In many ways this concert symbolizes the rebirth of our nation a nation destined for annihilation 100 years ago that today we can present the music by this Armenian genius composer to the world in New York City performed by talented pianist Garine Pogosyan